Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to Football Manager 2018 with Zebu Nation, Wings of Glory with LAFC. We are in the MLS playoffs, the Western Conference semifinals. And if you missed the first leg, you didn't miss much, I guess. Major League Soccer, let's take a look on the eastern side of things. Now, Toronto. 2-1 over New England, and Orlando City is at 3-0 in extra time, penalties, something, I don't know, uh, but they're up on their side of things, we got uh, Real Salt Lake, 2-2 draw with LA Galaxy, looks like 3-2 overall, is that what that is, is that, are those series all finished already? Um... Let's view the stage. I guess so. Toronto and New England are still playing, so that's good. And we are still playing, but we lost 4-1 to Portland. Not good. It was it was a very depressing game last episode, so we got to come back, and we got to kind of uh, you know make amends. Let's go to our team selection. Let's go right to it. We're changing things up. We're going with the 4-2-3-1. And uh, we're going to start out the match on control. See what that can get us. We got the two uh, Volanta, uh, Segundo Volantes in the defensive midfield. And we're going with uh, you know more attacking up front. So you know this is an interesting formation. We played it a little bit this season, so we're kind of familiar with it. But I don't think I've shown it on camera. Well, maybe I did show it on camera once. Didn't make much of a deal of it. But you're going to see these two defensive midfielders. They're going to be running all over the place. You know, because see, watch what happens if we turn them back into a regular defensive midfielder. Look at all these red boxes show up to show you where your players are not going to be. So when you put them into the... Uh, Segundo Valenta roll, they uh, you know they cleared up those spots, which means they're going to be running all around. But I guess that's okay. That's what they were born to do. Let's go. Here we go. Starting lineups. They've mixed they've mixed their lineup around a little bit as well. Milano now on the left side and Blanco on the right. They had mixed that up last time. Guzman and, N and Nagby have also flip-flop positions. Chira, defensive midfield. Uh, their defense seems to be the same. Ours is pretty much the same. We've got Stefan in goal, Romney and Delgado. We've moved him down to right back because Roa was just not playing very well. Hector and Watts in there as the central defense our team captain back in martinez and caldwell as those segundo volanto segundo volantes and then up top we got a little bit of a change here we got cavia cavia and pacheco still on the wings we've moved vela inside to the advanced playmaker role and then we've got Rodrigo at the striker position so we you know we got all of our firepower is out there Everybody we can get out there is there. Uh, let's see. Team talk. Here we go. We are the underdogs. Blah, blah, blah. Let's go. Talk, talk, talk. Um, Simon Walker from the American Soccer Free Press approaches you in the tunnel with, you know, a pen and paper. Uh, the absence of Omar Tejeda is sure to be felt. How will it be without his services? Yes, that's right. Tejeda was injured in training between last game and this game. Otherwise, I would have started him to get all of our best players out there on the field, but, uh, you know, it's not to be. So it would have been nice to have him, but, you know, blah, blah. So here we are now at Portland, the raucous crowd getting ready for an easy victory, I'm sure, after what they saw in the first leg. It should be a real party atmosphere. The crowd is kind of silent, though. Here's Nagby. Usually plays on the left, playing on the right for some reason. Vela with a nice foul. Start things off with. That's good. They're going to get a free kick out of this, and they're going to continue on with the highlight. Nope. Nothing happens. All right, here we are. 
throw in near side Kavea down in Portland territory. That was terrible. All right, but we retain possession at midfield. Vela gets it again up to Caldwell. Caldwell tries to chip it into Pacheco, but nothing doing. Adi to Nagby. Portland on the counterattack. Nobody challenging Nagby. Gets it to Adi. He just boots it wide. Tries to one-touch it out of the air and sends it wide. Uh, I think we need to, speaking of wide, let's get fairly wide here. Near Sarkoti sends it downfield. There's Martinez intercepts, but Portland retains possession. Milano to Nagby again, just slicing through our midfield. Gets it out wide to Powell. Oh, we got to close down on Powell. Watts heads it the wrong. No, that was Watts, our player. So Watts head to, heads it out of there. That's good. But Portland still retains possession. Milano centers to Nagby. Nagby with the first goal of the game. Portland is just too good right now. They are on fire. You know, none of this, you know, missed shot stuff, missed opportunities. Nagby wide open, unmarked, around one defender, and then just plants it. Can't leave a player of his quality just wide open. Let's confirm our changes. Here's Portland on the attack again. Nagby down the middle. This pass is briefly intercepted, but he gets it back. Gets it over to Guzman. Forward to Milano. His shot just wide. So Portland is right now free-flowing. They are on the attack. They are aggressive. They got us on the back foot. Stefan boots it downfield. There's only seven minutes gone in this, in this game, and we're already down. Five to one. I mean, aggregate, one nil in this game, but still. Not really the start we were hoping for. Nagby again has it for Portland. Gets it downfield. Blanco looking for some support. Nagby again. They're running their whole offense through him. Guzman up to Adi. Back to Nagby. He's got a man out wide, but he dips it. Oh, what a pass to Adi. But a great stop from Stefan. I mean, I mean, we got to make some changes here. We got to make some changes. We got to get some tighter marking. Um, maybe be more disciplined. Or otherwise, we're going to lose 10 0. Um, attacking. No, it's not good. Standard. All right, here's Rodrigo. Looking for some support at midfield. He's fouled by Chara. So that's good. That gives us at least a little bit of break. Uh, the other thing I wanted to do tactically... Tactically was... Um, opposition... Powell. we got to close down on him. Otherwise, he's just going to run down that field. I guess Sarkoti might as well close down on him too. Okay. <sighs> Quick tactical changes at every level. Just change everything we're doing. I hate doing that. That's not really the best way to do it. But sometimes when you see a problem, you got to fix it. 13 minutes down. Got to get a goal before halftime. Got to get two or three goals before halftime. All right, we need to specifically mark Adi. We'll do that. I'm I'm fine with that. 17 minutes down. Adi with the yellow card. Get him out of there. I mean, their ratings aren't that good. Not much better than our ratings. But they don't need to be much better than us. They just need to be not horrific like we were in the first game. Adi wins the ball at midfield. Milano... Dribbling around. Nagby has it now. Forward to Adi. He's triple covered, but he hits the post with that shot. That would have been heartbreaking if he'd have made that. Powell now. Near side throw in for Portland. Gets it up to Adi again, who is seems to be everywhere at the moment. He and Nagby are just carving us up. Guzman forward to Milano. 
Portland's just playing with us now. Nagby. Forward to Adi again. At will. They're connecting at will. Right through the middle of that defense. We got two so-called defensive midfielders back there. Maybe we should drop one of them out of the Segundo Volante role. Maybe you shouldn't have two. It says even in the um, description, it says you should team them with an anchor man, but that's no fun. Uh, Stefan <laughs> with the stop. Horner kick near side. 28 minutes. There's been a lot of um, a lot of great highlights for Portland. Not much for us. Here's Guzman sends it in. Ball is knocked out. I think that's Rodrigo who got a foot on that. Blanco, his shot is deflected, but Stefan is luckily in the right position to make that save. All right, here we go. Here's a highlight for us. Pacheco, corner, near side. Watts can't get to it. Ball is booted out, but Delgado tracks it down to Covea. Out wide, Covea gets the cross in. There is Rodrigo, the target man with the goal. Excellent. Good play that's what we need to see i mean it took some doing it took some you know out and then back in but this is a nice very nice cross from Kavea. perfect header we had two guys there who could have headed that in but uh, obviously the target man gets the credit for that so there we go it's now 5-2 aggregate let's see if we can get another one that would be good. Here's a highlight now for Portland. Far side throw in. Adi has it again. He's tackled by Pacheco. Just boots the ball downfield. Nobody there but Portland. Maybe we can force them to make a mistake here. Enger to Mabiala. Nagby gets it forward to Adi. Adi beats our defense. Can't beat Stefan, though. Stefan is keeping us in it as much as we can be kept in it at this point here's Guzman corner kick near side sends it in it's headed back out for another corner I think yep 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 okay sends it in Blanco headed out hey there we go Pacheco tracks it down can he boost it forward there it is gets it forward uh, who's on the run there? Kavea's on the run, wide open. He's got the target man in the middle. Of... Wow. Um, not a great cross. Um, you know, I like the effort, but you know, you gotta do something a little bit better with that. And now Kavea's looking frustrated, as he probably should be. Stefan is very frustrated. He's getting peppered with shots. Rodrigo is calm. That's good. He's got his goal. He's happy with life. Vela, 6.3 rating. Not happy with that. Um, about three seconds left in extra time here for the first half. So we got a lot of work to do in the second half. Like four goals worth of work. The second half. Uh, let's see our analysis. Um, Darlington Nagby is controlling the game. Okay, let's close down on him. Defenders are keeping Adi despite being marked. Keep losing Adi despite being marked specifically. They also need to close down him more often. Okay, let's do that. Um, pep talk. Okay. Let's be aggressive. Not happy. You were awful out there. Let's go. Let's get fired up for the second half. Is there anything tactically we can do? I guess we can start sending people forward. But man, no, that's not really what this group is all about. Whoops, didn't want to do that. Clicked on Pacheco. Um, these guys aren't necessarily inside forward type dudes, so we can't quite do what we did last game. Um, and these, I don't know. We'll just start the second half. Just see if we can do better. Just do better. How about that? There's 
those words of inspiration from your coach, just do better. How about that? Kavea heads it forward. Rodrigo can't get there. Mm, thus ends the highlights. Okay. 47 minutes and counting. Let's go, boys. Let's get a highlight. Let's get a goal. Let's make us make ourselves feel a little better. Let's put a little bit of pressure on Portland. All right. Highlight for Portland. Coming down the far side is Blanco. Sends in the cross. Hector is there. But uh, Portland retains possession. Guzman, no good. Just sends it wide. Uh, I just thought of something. The one thing I can do um, that I can, people that I can send forward, I want tactics. 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 This is what I want. I know there's like a yell button, but I don't like that yell button. I want this page. When I, go, when I think tactics, this is the page that I think. All right. So what we can do is we can move these guys up. That's what we can do. Um, Mazala. Um, drifts wide and operates. Do we want him to drift wide? I mean, there's no reason not to drift wide, I suppose. Caldwell. Um, roaming playmaker, I suppose. It's good. It's fine. You know, we probably should have somebody drop back for defense. I don't know that I want to go box to box. I don't know. Maybe I should go box to box. It's his best role. Um, and maybe he should be deep lying playmaker in defense. That seems a little bit more reasonable. So the Segundo Volante role did not really work out for us. I mean, I guess it worked out better than the last game. We're 1-1 we're one, one instead of 3-0 coming into halftime. But anyway, here's a throw in for Portland. Far side, Blanco has it to Chirot. It's intercepted there. A foul was not called. Cavea gets it to Martinez. Oh, buddy, pal. What you doing? Got to be a little bit, uh, a little bit more concentrative on that. There we go. We'll, we'll yell at you. Tell you to concentrate. Free kick, Guzman for Portland. Centers to Blanco with a shot just over the goalpost. Okay, 58 minutes, closing in on that 60-minute mark. Hector is a little tired, but looking calm. Everybody else, I don't know, Vela. Do we do anything with Vela? I don't think so. I mean, he's obviously not comfortable in that position. But, I don't know. Here's Portland corner kick. I'm just losing my mind here. Rodrigo uh, gets it downfield. There's Pacheco on the run. Beats one man. He's got some runners. He's got some man. He centers it to Cavea. Cavea with the shot. Hey, on goal. Good job. I guess that's where we're at at this point. Just... Let's be happy that we're doing something right. Vela, a corner kick. Watts can't get there, but Martinez tracks down the rebound. Caldwell, wide to Vela. Vela centers to Rodrigo. Rodrigo, oh, that was an interesting try. You can see what he was doing there. He's going to try to do a little cross to the far post, but um, I don't think Cavea was on the same wave wavelength. Hector now is a yellow card, and he's a little tired. See what we can do substitutionally. Um, I guess we can bring in Hagland. Delgado is not playing well at all. So we can bring in Roa and send him on attack. Good. That's fine. Um, 
You know, the other thing we could do, I guess, we could put Vela out on the wing where he's a little more, more comfortable. Inside forward on attack. And then we can bring Fernandez in, who is much more of a natural center attacking player. Advanced playmaker. He can play Engosh. Prime creator. Hook that joins the midfield and operates behind the strikers. That seems like an okay thing to do. All right, let's go. I mean, at this point, why not have a little fun? All right. Fernandez was a guy we picked up early season to play inside forward on the left just to give us a backup there, but that never came to fruition. He just was not needed much much of the season. But he can also play center advance, so, you know, whatever. Here's Nagby getting it forward to Adi again. Those two guys just crushed us. Just killed us this series. 6-2 Portland. I mean, though, I, that combination right there, we just could not stop. Gleason just boots it downfield. Chara, the defensive midfielder role, gets it to Nagby. And then just a simple pass and a simple finish. And we are done. 6-2. 71 minutes down in the second half of the second leg. Not looking good. Vela with a 6.2 rating. Watts with a 6.3. So a lot of our team leaders not performing very well. He's Portland with another. Highlight. Lopez gets it. Oh, intercepted by Haglin. Nice play. Caldwell gets it down the near sideline to Vela. Vela on the run. Centers to Had. I can't even get his name out before he misses the shot. Okay. Rodrigo. Nice play. Nice shot. Nice attempt. Good 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 drive, boys. Alright, Powell sends it downfield. Um, they've got some subs in the game. Ebi Yacy, not familiar with that guy. Roa with a nice tackle though. Gets it to Vela. Starting to get some Positive movement here. Martinez reverses field to Covea on the far side. He looks to get past his man. He does. Past one man down the near sideline. Centers it, but uh, I guess that was more of a cross than a center. But anyway, Gleason is there, the goalkeeper. Snatches it. Trick shot. Nice boot downfield. Didn't even see him make a kicking maneuver, but Rodrigo gets it forward to Fernandez. Fernandez. Plays it wide to Vela, gets tackled. Um, I would have liked to have seen a slightly more aggressive aggressive move there from Fernandez, but, you know, getting the ball to Vela is never a bad idea. Portland looks uninterested at the moment. They're just beating us offhand, saying, like, don't even need to worry about these guys. 76 minutes down. Another yellow card for Guzman. Fifth yellow card of the season for him. Stefan is frustrated. Got a lot of frustrated folks out there. Now starting to rain in Portland. Adi beats our defense. Nearly gets tackled there, but maintains possession. Nope, Kavea gets the steal. That was an interesting play. Caldwell near side to Vela. Let's go. Let's, ouch. Let's get crushed. Come on, boys. Let's, uh, let's show some passion. Adi. Nagby. Adi. There's that combination again. 7-2. I mean, we're just going to go... We're going down with the ship here. We're guns blazing. Such as it were. We're not, you know... We're not going to salvage any dignity by playing defense or counterattack. We're just... You know, we're going to take our lumps. Take our lumps and like it. There we go. 7-2 to aggregate. 82 minutes down. They got to get Mabala out of the game. He's about to pass out. 
All right. Anyway, downfield, Vela can't get there. But Caldwell saves it. Martinez forward to Fernandez. Rodrigo back to Martinez. Can he get it forward to Cavea? He does with the shot. Easy save by Gleason. At least we got a shot on goal. Here we go. Throw in far side Cavea. Let's do something, boys. Nope. Negret intercepts, but then Watts boots it downfield to Martinez. We're back on the attack. Fernandez. Yeah. Not much pepper behind that shot there. Could have used a little bit more power, but I don't think... Well, no, he's a natural left footer. He should have been able to put a little bit more steam on that. There's Watts to Cavea. We're back on the attack again. This highlight never ends. Fernandez gets it forward to Vela. Great pass. Vela with the goal. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. I mean, Gleason could have made a better save than that, but, hey, we'll take it. Cavea to Fernandez. Fernandez, great pass. Just a lovely pass. Through ball to Vela, and he gets the finish. Gleason got a hand on it, but couldn't keep it out. So there we go, 7-3. 87 minutes down. Let's see if we can get another one. Save face and make it so they at least don't have double our score. 89 minutes, getting into the end here. Two minutes of stoppage time. So we can't let this, you know, be a downer for the season that we had. We had a really good season. It was up, it was down, much like the playoffs. But you know what? We achieved a lot for the first season, for inaugural season in our entire existence. We managed to win more games than we lost, and we managed to, uh, you know, make the playoffs in our first season. We got a solid core to build around. We got a lot of young players. We got some superstar players that we got to figure out what to do with. And, uh, you know, hopefully next year our team cohesion will be even better. Everybody will know each other, be friends, all that stuff. And we'll... We won't have many nights like this next season is what I'm hoping. So there we go. I thought Portland would come through, and they did. Of course they did. Dressing room. Players are still in good spirits. I like these guys. They are always in good spirits no matter what. Um, can't fault your effort. Nobody expected us to win, but you gave it everything. Ooh. Majority of players rejected negatively to that comment. All right. Well, I tried to be positive. Didn't work out, but that's that's life. What can you say? All right. First leg triumph helps Portland past LAFC. Yep, 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 yep. Defeat in the Western Conference semifinals. So we out of there. Our players immediately go on international duty. Our two best players go out there. See you later. But, yeah, that's the end of the season. Um, so what do we got to look forward to? We've got all the off-season stuff. I think we'll just, like, go through... We don't have Champions League this season, so we don't have to have a rushed off-season like in previous years, like with FC Dallas in our in our beta save. We had to have a really rushed kind of uh, off-season because we had to get ready for Champions League. We don't have that this season with... LAFC, so we can have a much more leisurely offseason. I guess we'll come back for some kind of preseason spectacular and then start next season. I don't know if we need to have both an offseason and a preseason, maybe just one this time around to encompass it all. But we'll come back for that for season two of LAFC, and maybe we'll throw in some other saves in there as well just to look around at some other leagues around the world stuff like that and uh, i've got some other playing some different games other than football manager coming up as well so you can look forward to all that kind of stuff so until next time we'll see you later bye, -bye.